three, two, one, go. Quads are firing, come on. Come on, four, stay pushed up, five, six. Strong, stay strong, stay strong, stay fast. Good, okay, rack it up. All right, my name is Ben Silverman, Corn Ferry Tour player. I'm here at Lifetime Performance with, uh, this is my head trainer, Ken, and this is where I train. Been here for over two years, and this is what I do at home. So Ben's starting with some kind of general foam rolling. He usually starts with the lower body. We do the quads, the glutes. We might get up into the shoulders a little bit. But generally speaking, this is just a kind of readiness thing. We're just trying to get the body and the mind ready for the workout. We're not really doing anything other than bringing blood flow to the muscles. Okay, so we're gonna introduce some power exercises here. We're gonna start first with a quick hurdle hop to lateral bound. Ben's gonna demonstrate this perfectly, I'm sure. But the idea is to be as quick as he can as he's going from one hurdle to the next, and then to be as powerful as he can as he's jumping up and over. Let's see. Quick, jump, up, stick. Up, good and rest, good, other side. We really don't do a lot of repetitions here. It's somewhere gonna be in the neighborhood of three to five because we want him being explosive. I'm not trying to tire him out with this. Explode up, good. Try to stick that landing a little bit more. Good, and then big jump, big jump. Good, beautiful, excellent. I need to feel like I'm training like a pro athlete for any sport, not just golf. It's an athlete workout. It isn't just using bands and doing body weight stuff. And like in the off season, when I'm not on the road as much, we'll transition to more power and like building muscle and I'll, I'll put on another 10 pounds of muscle in the off season as we'll switch up the workout. So we're in season. This is uh, a lift that we use to kind of, again, work on speed, power through the lower body. Um, we are gonna use a device here that's gonna look at velocity and how fast he's moving the bar. And we're gonna add the chain implements here because the chain is good because it encourages him to come up strong and powerful from the bottom of the squat. When he's all the way down at the bottom of the squat, he's got very little weight because most of the chain will be on the ground. But as he starts to come up, he has to accelerate hard to get the weight of the chain off the floor in addition to the weight that's on the plates. But again, we are in this five rep zone. The weight is not gonna be super heavy for him. It's more to kind of work on power and speed through the motion, okay? So we're gonna count down. Here he's working on getting his setup. On the way down, he's gonna hold his breath to create stability through the core. When we hear the beat, we're gonna go. Good. So with every rep, he's trying to beat his high. Good, that was a little faster than the previous one. Down a little quicker. I'm gonna go down a little quicker. Fire up. Good, that was exactly the same again. Good, fire it up. One, that was a little less, one more, one more. Down and fire. Good, 1.63. I feel that like when I'm feeling strong with a squat, I'm feeling strong overall. Cause it's mental. I'm gonna get crushed by the weight if I don't explode up out of it. My core's gotta be tight. My legs, like my legs feel beefy and strong when I'm doing heavy squats, I feel like I'm more grounded and stable in the golf swing too. It's good, you know, you share this, and then you get the other guys on tour that are into fitness. Ben's doing that, and I can do that. And then they push it, and then I say, I can do that too. Start a whole fitness trend. So we're on our last um, try set here in the workout. This is still a strength focus, but we're gonna do some pulling exercises, we're gonna do a little bit of rotational stuff, and then we're gonna finish with some core stability work. A big part of focus on um, Ben's off-season program this season was getting longer. It's something he knew kind of had to happen over the last six months uh, to be able to compete, not just on the Corn Ferry Tour, but to make it out on the PGA Tour. His uh, golf coach, Jeff Leishman, has a had a huge influence on that. Um, in addition to giving him the knowledge of the things he had to work on, he also kind of gave him the drills to do to help create some of that speed. So it was nice to be able to work with someone like Jeff to go over the prerequisites of what is needed to create more speed, not only in the gym, but when he practices on the golf course. So a lot of the training he does for speed is actually on the golf course. It's not just in here. And he was able to put on a lot more club head speed. So it's, it's obviously benefiting him at this point. When I'm in peak physical condition, my body cannot only withstand the amount of time I'm on my feet and length of time we're outside walking the course. 
but it makes my mind stronger because there's lots of times when I'm pushing myself in the gym and I want to quit. My body's like, I'm tired. But if I quit, what am I going to do on the course when it gets hard or the weather gets hard? I'm going to want to quit when it's raining, windy, tough weather. So what I do in here is partly training for the mindset I want to be in in tournaments too. The harder I push myself in here, the more I'll be able to handle on course adverse conditions or, you know, I'm at the top of the lead one-on-one -on -one against a competitor and he's not backing down. I'm, I'm training myself to not back down either. Okay, we're gonna finish Ben up with uh, a sled push where he's just gonna sprint with the weight on there, down and back. Uh, we do this at times at the end of a workout just to kind of finish him off a little bit. We will do stretching and cool down stuff afterwards, but um, he likes the punishment. Go ahead. Good. Generally speaking, this is a, a, a good exercise because he can apply a lot of force and power with very little chance of getting hurt. Um, so it's a good way. At the end of the workout, he's going to be tired and fatigued. Good. Quads are firing. Come on. All right. Good work today. That's a wrap. Good job. I've got, you know, my lunch typically packed because I'll head to the course, so I did the same thing today. I've got my uh, go-to tuna salad. I made it home. Got a couple of beef sticks and extra protein. Got some clementines, some uh, crackers, which I'll eat off the floor. <laughs> and I'll go to the course and spend like a couple hours there. And that's a normal day. Now we're out here at my club, Ballon Isles. Gonna play a few holes, hit a few balls on the range, had a little practice session, and so typically at home, I'd go and hit some shots, play three, four, five holes, something like that. Call it a day. So originally when I started working out with Ken, I was like, all right, I wanna gain some speed, because I know I need to hit driver further, but I want to do it organically. I don't want to like just dive into speed training or have to change my swing. I was like, let's just get stronger, faster, and hopefully that'll translate. All my main meals, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, are big. And, and then I'm snacking in between. Unfortunately, on the road, I lose a little bit of weight because I can't eat that much. I don't have the access to prepare that much food constantly throughout the day. I would love to be like 180 and just rock solid, like look like I play some other sport, not golf. <laughs> That's kind of like in my head, look like a athlete that can compete in any sport, but I'm a pro golfer. Always oh, start with a birdie. <laughs> For me to compete at the highest level over time, the better I feed my body, the longer I'm going to be able to last and not break down over time. Twelve footer uphill right to left or to win the tournament. That's what we practice for right here. That's the way you end a filming session, right there. Yeah, that's a wrap.